real quick video this morning on toxic relationships and comparing it to your job or your workplace. A little chilly out here this morning, so which is nice. Oh, this is a nice change. I can breathe. <sighs> nice. So, you know, we have all these support groups and programs and everything for toxic relationships, but we don't have anything for toxic relationships in your workplace. Maybe that's something somebody can come up with. Or maybe there is something and I, I just don't know about it. Uh, man, we need support. People that have been in a toxic workplace completely understand where I'm coming from. And what's sad is, just like a relationship, most people are still in those relationships because they feel that they're stuck. For one reason or another, they feel stuck. We need a group that says, hey, you can have better. You are worthy. You have power. You can survive without this relationship. I'm going to put a couple of things on here that I noticed when I looked up toxic relationships. And I'll tell you what, I can identify with all of them with the past job that I had. See if y'all can identify with them. I'm curious. Like one of them talks about uh, you know, verbal, uh, your partner verbally abuses you in public and or private. Check. Your partner uh, has you lose your self-identity and gives you a feeling of low self-worth and a feeling of failure. Check. <laughs> There's many more that I'll cover more in, in future videos, but for today, that's all I want to cover because the biggest question is, is there support groups out there for this? Are we really stuck? Is there no way out? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Because, I mean, you got to remember that really, you are great because you were born of greatness for greatness. And I really want you to go get that OODA life on and live differently. Because there's better workplaces and relationships out there for you. I promise. Y'all have a wonderful Tuesday.